All right, today we're talking about the curveball versus the slider. Two very similar pitches, but very different at the same time. Curveball is usually a little bit bigger um, and has more of an up to down break. Slider, a little bit faster, sharper, and maybe not as much break, but goes more this way than up to down, okay? Now, with that being said, which one's better than the other? It's different for everybody. In fact, when I was drafted to the San Diego Padres organization, one of the first meetings we had, the coaches asked, who throws a curveball here? Everyone raised their hand who threw a curveball. Then they said, who throws a slider here? Everyone raised their hand who threw a slider. And they said, put your hands down uh, if, you don't, if you only throw one of those. Keep your hands up if you throw both of those. There was a few guys left with their hands up that threw curveball and slider. And they said that by the end of the week that we had to pick which one of those pitches we wanted to keep and we had to trash the other one. So their suggestion was to get rid of either the curveball or the slider. Didn't matter whichever one we preferred better, uh, but if you had both, you had to get rid of one of them. Now let's talk about the differences between the curveball and the slider. The grips, for me at least, are exactly the same. We want to grip the ball with our middle finger right on the top of the horseshoe here. Uh, the thumb is going to be on the middle finger part of the ball. I'm going to be pretty deep in the ball here. I've got my other two fingers on the side of the ball. And the only difference really is going to be our wrist angle at release point and how we're releasing the ball, okay? A curveball, again, is going to be more up to down. You've heard of a 12-6 curveball? Well, that's because it goes from 12 to 6 on the clock, right? So typically, curveballs go down, uh, up to down. Might go, uh, you know, uh, 1 o'clock to 7 o'clock uh, or maybe even a little bit further sideways, but typically the curveball is bigger, loopier, and up to down. The slider is going to be more like 2 to 8. Okay, more this way, typically. Now, depth is very important no matter what pitch you're throwing. Depth just means how much downward movement you're getting. So if you are throwing a slider, you don't want to really have that Frisbee slider, although those, some of those have been successful for some guys even in the big leagues, okay? What you want, though, is that sharp, late downward movement. So what's the difference in throwing these pitches? For the curveball, when we go to release it, if I'm pitching straight towards you, I want to be right on top of this ball as I'm coming down, and I want that ball to get four seams moving end over end, top over bottom. That's gonna give me that 12-6 downward movement on the curveball. For the slider, I still have the same grip. Now, there's two different ways you can throw a slider. Also, it should be mentioned that there's a pitch called the slurve. A slurve is basically something in between that. In fact, if I had to categorize my pitch, which I call a slider, it would probably more likely be a slurve than a slider. It was thrown kind of in between the curveball and the slider. But let's talk about the slider first two ways to throw a slider. One, you can come through like a fastball, stay behind the ball, and then try to turn like a doorknob this way, okay? So that's one way to throw the slider this way. As you release it, I'm throwing straight towards you. Boom, boom. Or you can get around that ball just a little bit more like a curveball, but on a different axis, so right here. So my arm angle is a little bit lower, my wrist angle is a little bit lower, and I'm still trying to get that four seam break, it's just at, on a different axis going this way. So that's more of a slurve ball. That's a little bit more of the type of slider that I used to throw. Um, and you can be somewhere in between that. As you're coming through, you can kind of get to that point. So you really just have to play with it, play with your grip, play with your release, find out what works best for you. But just like the San Diego Padres organization suggested, I suggest that you only throw one of those pitches. No need for a curveball and a slider. Make one really, really great. Trash the one that's not so great then focus on that pitch, use that to get batters out. I also have a sinker and slider training course that I sell on my website. Been hearing some great feedback on that. In fact, when I was in the San Diego Padres organization, my sinker and slider were ranked number one out of all the pitchers in the whole organization. So if you wanna learn those pitches in depth, uh, how I threw them to use them to get batters out, uh, just check the link down below. It's on sale right now. Um, some really good stuff in there that you guys are gonna like. So. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out some of these videos. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next. I'll talk to you there.